It's an hour and a half later. What is happening in my bed? That's Wrigley. Route has actually gotten out of bed to go to the bathroom and come back in, but the Westies, not so much. All right, guys, we gotta get the day started. We got a lot to do. Time to wake up, the sun is shining. Good morning. Today we're doing another day in the life vlog and I have a very ambitious day plan despite my dogs wanting to sleep in. No, no. Today, Michael and I are gonna do a little day trip. We are driving up to the hill country town of Fredericksburg. It is a beautiful town, tons of fun little boutiques and restaurants. There are a couple shops in particular I have my eye on. I'm gonna try and film a dressing room try and for a separate video. Actually, hopefully hitting two stores that I can share with you later this month. And then what's really ambitious about my day is after we spend most of the day in Fredericksburg, that's a mouthful, my intent is to come home and finally put up all of the holiday decorations. We have guests coming from out of town later this week and I really need to get my house into 2022 because Hanukkah slash the holidays are still going on full swing in the front of my house and in my dining room. I'll share that with you later. Now, part of this video is sponsored by Lancome. And if you've been watching me since I think early December, you know that I've been using quite a few of their products and really loving them. And I've mentioned these actually, I believe in my favorites, but I wanted to share with you how I've incorporated two of their skincare products into my daily routine. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the Advanced Genifique Serum. So many of you over the years have been telling me how much you love this serum. And I had never tried it until right the very first week of December, I started using it without telling any of you. And within about a week or so, I started getting a ton of comments asking me what I had done differently. My skin was looking brighter. So that is really good feedback. That is independent, objective feedback, noticing a change. So. As I put this on, I wanted to share with you a couple of key points about this. First of all, where I do this in my skincare routine. I do use this morning and night. I wash my face, use a toner, put on a thinner serum if I'm gonna be using a serum, and then I jump into this one. So in skincare, you generally wanna go from the lightest consistency, the viscosity is closer to water to lead up and finish with your more thicker products. So this goes towards the beginning of my skincare. So the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate basically has just all kinds of good things. It has hyaluronic acid, it has vitamin C, it has ceramides. Look at this dropper. Okay, so this delivery system, I know I'm jumping around, but I need to share with you. When you pull it out, you, I don't even have to plunge the little plunger, which you can, but it basically comes loaded with everything you need for one application. So you just push that down to dispense. So you will see more radiant skin in about a week or so, I have. And I just put it all over my face and then bring it down my neck. It does help give you a stronger skin barrier, obviously helps with hydration, moisture, and then you move on to your next step. So lately I've just been jumping straight into the eye cream and I can't say that I have a favorite of the two, but I, because I've seen amazing results with this, but I love, love, love the texture of the eye cream. And I should say that the Genifique absorbs really quickly the serum into my face. It doesn't leave it sticky. Now, as far as the eye cream goes, it also has vitamin C. It also has hyaluronic acid. Look at that nice thick cream. It also has a probiotic in it, which is pretty cool, which helps again improve with high, help improve hydration. I just put a little dab in each corner and then I pat it out. Um, this will help with the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark circles over time. It is very hydrating and I also want to say it's very soothing. This has been especially wonderful in the winter months and I have to say that it also works really well with any makeup I put on top of it. My concealer doesn't cake up or slide off or anything like that. It absorbs quickly. It feels really rich and luxurious, but it doesn't just sit on my face. It absorbs nicely and it really makes my under eye area feel smooth to the touch. All right, I'm gonna finish up the skincare routine. Enough of this. Let's get dressed and get on the road. Okay, we are fully dressed. The bed is made. 
Just gonna catch up on a few emails and computer stuff before we hit the road. I want you to see Instagram versus reality. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Starting in here, yes, I switched out my quilt, but everything's clean and tidy in there, as well as in the family room. Kitchen is all cleaned up. Did a little dusting, have to put the end dust away. And then we get to the front of the house. And I have done nothing to put away all the stuff that I took down basically the 25th and 26th of December and added to the mess by getting another TV to put in our guest room. So, who thinks I can get all of this done? Oh, and edit the video that I'm currently filming before the end of the day. What do you guys think? Rowdy does not look enthusiastic about this. Westies? Do you support this? You think I can do it? You guys wanna help? No. Today's outfit of the day. I don't know about the hat. I mean, I like the hat. I just know that it's really windy outside, so I'm not sure if this is gonna actually stay on my head. I might be ambitious with that, but not a lot of days in San Antonio when you can wear a wool fedora, so I'm going for it. This is back in stock. They've added more colors. I'm wearing mine in a size small, and then the rest is nothing new. When I do plan a try on, there is a strategic decision in what I'm wearing. I try to pick jeans or some sort of bottom half that will go with most things and that the shoes are neutral and that would work if I decide to try and dress so it'll look normal. And I'm still really enjoying this tripod thing. If any of you are interested, of course, as always, everything's gonna be linked down in the description box, anything that I talk about or show you. So enough babbling. I'm gonna go feed the Westies their breakfast and Rowdy, of course, as well, and we're gonna hit the road. We've reached um, my official destination. You've heard me talk about Buddy Love online. I've ordered some things, but they actually have a physical location. I think this is the only one. How cute is this? Obviously, this used to be a home and they have turned it into this. Okay, if it wasn't 45 degrees outside, I would spend some time in that chair. Love the turf. Having a sale. Unfortunately, by the time you see this, the sale will be over, but hopefully you will follow me on Instagram stories and caught some good deals. <gasps> I mean, yeah, definitely coming back in the spring. All right, let's get inside. I'm just leaving, but I realized I never showed you the inside of this adorable place. So here is the front room with all kinds, I mean, just so, look at the details in this home right there. This was from their holiday collection. Isn't that stunning? It's probably on sale on the website if it's still around. Like, look at that one. And then the main room, they have asked me very kindly not to show them. Here's their pants. There is the checkout area. And then there's another room full of goodies. Let me zoom out a little for you. There you go. Really cute stuff. How fun are these trays? Super cute, right? So all that. More stuff there. Hello. And then their dressing rooms, which is where I was most of the day, are back in here. Great mirror for filming. I filmed a whole dressing room try on, you'll see later. More stuff here. And then the dressing rooms are here. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I've worked up an appetite. We're off to lunch. There's some original homes. Some have been restored and some have not. Now turn left onto North Elk Street. So you can see what kind of looks like a light pole. It's actually part of a ship. We're not going today, but they have the National Museum of the Pacific War, and you're probably thinking, oh, it's not all that interesting. It's kind of for military buffs. No, it was one of the best museum experiences like outside the Smithsonian that I have ever had, and very moving and just amazing. So if you have the opportunity to check out that museum, go. Okay. Some, like that's a soap company. There's some really, really, really cool. I haven't been up here in a year or so and they really <laughs> expanded. Main Street is where it's at though. We're coming up on that. I'm sorry, you're not you're seeing much. I need to come back to Fredericksburg when it's warm out and we can walk up and down. The reviews on this place were incredible. So hopefully it lives up to the hype. Sunset Grill, they serve breakfast all day, which is very exciting. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So 
So lunch was okay. It was just okay. My biscuit was really dry. Um, Michael's omelet didn't have all the ingredients that it said it would on the menu. And it's really far off the beaten path. Like we thought it was gonna be right off Main Street, but it wasn't. We have decided as much as we'd like to walk up and down Main Street and check out all the cute boutiques, that one, I do have to hit Nordstrom and do some things there. I need to film a dressing room try in there as well. And I don't wanna leave the dogs alone any longer than we need to. So we're gonna head out of town and come back when it's not 50 degrees and windy because it's kind of biting cold. Also, we thought it'd be nice to come on a Monday because it'd be a little low key, but because this place just exponentially increases in visitors on the weekend, a lot of places are closed Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday. So we'll come back on a Thursday and give you another look at Fredericksburg. But I can't believe how much it's built up. It's crazy. Okay, I just had to get in and out really fast. So no vlogging in the store, but check out what Michael was doing while I was in the store. He's been filling up the tank. One of the advantages of coming to the mall. So let's get home and play with the puppies. He's completely oblivious to me. Here's some landscaping updating. This was work done while we were gone. This has just been one of those areas that we cannot get anything right. This is technically actually an, a working gate, but because of the grading and how steep it is here, everything washes and so much sediment has built up in front of that gate that it's really hard to open. So we've basically given up on it. So we had our landscaper come and clean all the old mulch and everything out. Plus when we had the Tesla charger installed, they had to trench a line from the main box there to the house. So they really tore this area up to install the right current. Anyway, we've given up on trying to have anything grow. So we're just going to have that filled with river rock. River rock is that stuff. And then they'll place our big flagstone pieces. I don't know why, a path to nowhere because you can't actually go in that way. But that was done while we are gone. So tomorrow they will come back and fill it in. This is what you do in South Texas in the winter time. You stop mowing the lawn and you start doing projects because we usually don't have any snow or frozen ground to have to deal with like other people do. Just hanging out on the back porch. I don't know if you can see the light hitting the water in the pool, but it looks really pretty. You wouldn't know it's like 45 degrees outside. It's very peaceful out here. Mimi's doing some scratching. I think Rowdy and Wrigley went around the corner. All right, I'm cold, I'm going in. Can you believe it's already almost five o'clock? I don't know where this day went. All I know is that I'm freezing and I don't even want to take my coat off. I think and it's a little early. We spent most of the day out. Sorry about that puppies. I am, and I have hat head. Cute, huh? I think I'm gonna cut, well, I'll just set this down. Hang up my coat and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash up and get into jammies. So let's get ready for bed together while it is still daylight. Why not? I don't know if I've shared with you that we all got a new kitchen table right in the middle of December and I ordered placemats because I just wanted to not set things right on my brand new table and ruin it. And aren't these cute? They're cork backed. I love these. They're very thin. They come in a set of four. So I ordered two sets of four. We really only need two. There's also matching china or dishes that go with this, but I think these will do. It goes with my general white with hints of blue theme going on in here. I'm getting a little sense of deja vu here. I feel like we were just here together just a few minutes ago. I guess in your world, I was. So winding down, I wouldn't say getting ready for bed because it's, I took my watch off. It's like six at this point. I've been piddling around the house, getting distracted, but a few things. I feel like I'm talking to you like you're here. Um, first of all, question. How many of you change your pajamas, like their outfits every night? Like, do you wear a different set of pajamas every night? Do you wear them a few nights in a row? Assuming you don't have night sweats or something. I don't know, do you plan them like outfits? Like I have slippers I wear with certain color pajamas and then a different color slippers that I wear with. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit insane. But anyway, I love this one right now. I'm really, I've been wearing this set on repeat. I wanted to share with you as I'm getting ready for bed um, or winding down, what I do. So, you know, before I started making YouTube videos, I was a fan and I'm still a huge fan, but I don't have as much time as I used to just sit and watch YouTube videos because I'm usually busy making YouTube videos. 
But I do catch up while I'm getting ready in the morning and while I'm getting unready in the evening. And just so, Lisa, hi. This is uh, my dear friend Lisa, Lisa Lisa D1. I'm catching up on one of her videos right now. And I do wanna say, see how there's no glare on my screen? I got this really awesome screen protector. Um, I'll link it in the description box. And it makes the surface of your iPad, first of all, anti-glare, but also it feels like paper. So when you're writing, because I got a new iPad for Hanukkah, so when you use the pencil, it actually feels like you're writing on paper and your handwriting looks much more like your real handwriting when you write with it. So just want to share that. Anyway, I am going to get back to Lisa in just a moment, but I wanted to show you again, once I've unwound, I've washed my face. I did put on my prescription um, Retin-A and now I'm going in back with the Advanced Genifique. So again, I just unscrew it and you can see it basically loads itself when you put it back in and then dispense. You hear a lot of noise. The Westies have decided it's playtime. And then I bring it down my neck. You hear all those little feet? We're having a Westie wrestling going on. Mimi's very vocal. And then tonight, I'm feeling a little dry. We are outside, it's very windy. So I'm gonna go in with the eye cream because it is super hydrating. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody's happy we're home. And I will say on another topic, let's talk empty nesting. So everybody's gone. It's back to just Michael and I in the house tonight. And I really enjoy it. because I enjoy it because I can be in my pajamas at six o'clock at night if I feel like it. And we can just like have some soup and crackers or soup and toast for dinner tonight because we had a pretty big meal for lunch and I'm not all that hungry. So I just want a little something to take the edge off before we call it a night. So, you know, we can do that. And then we're gonna sit on the couch. I'll be tucked in my little corner. And then I started doing this. Let me show you. I am addicted to this. I'm almost embarrassed to share with you. It's a coloring app. <laughs> it shows you where to color. It's like a little challenge to me to find all the places to tap because sometimes they're big squares like that, but sometimes they're super teeny little gray ones. And then, you know, once you finish everything in that color, see, like you could miss that. Like sometimes I need to use hints to find the color square. Anyway, this is mindless. It's kind of nice. Helps me wind down at night. We're binge watching Seinfeld right now, so I don't really have to visually watch the show. I can listen. I can do this. What I really like about this app is that there are like daily challenges and trying to complete a certain amount of categories of coloring book subject matter and you get little awards. It's just a little game you play with yourself. So anyway, that's what I like to do in the evenings. It's very chill, but we enjoy it. Sometimes Michael will really want to watch some sporting event. Like I think tonight is the national championship that no one's watching because it's Alabama against Georgia, which is basically the SEC championship 2.0. And we all know Alabama is going to win. So although I'm rooting for Georgia, but I'm wearing red, both teams are red. So the red team is going to win tonight. Anyway, um, definitely babbling, but that's our evenings. And I really like it. We don't have to run around. I don't have to plan a huge meal for everybody if I don't want to, because it's just us oftentimes. Michael will just cook whatever he wants for dinner. I'll make myself what I want for dinner. It's a lot more division of labor than it used to be when the kids were growing up. So for those of you who've been messaging me recently saying you're really nervous about this next stage, it's really fun. And while it's really nice when the kids come home and have that full family feel again, trust me, towards the end of the visit, you're ready to say goodbye. You will tear up when they leave, but that length of time of tearing up is 30 seconds to five minutes. And then it's like, okay, back to the stage because you know, that's the goal to raise them and get them out of the house. I assume all of you who are moms who are dreading the empty nester stage that's coming up for you, you are not living with your parents. So that's, that's really? the, Hey babe, I'm talking to my friends who aren't here. Yeah, Wrigley's here. Um, that's the goal. We want them to like grow up and be self-sufficient and get out, come back to visit, but don't stay. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready, go brush my teeth, 
And then I'm actually gonna sit down and get some editing in, like this actual video. I wanna get it done tonight. And then what's really ambitious about my day is after we spend most of the day in Fredericksburg, that's a mouthful. So tonight's meal, if you happen to live here in HEB, I'm sure other grocery stores have a version of this, creamy tomato and basil. There's other soups in this line, but it's in a pouch and you just tear a little notch and you throw it in the microwave. I think it's 90 seconds. I mean, it could not be any easier. And then I'm, I am addicted to these. This is the giant size and they're gluten-free and just throw a few of those in there. We're gonna call it a night. And I know everything is relative and y'all living up north think this is not cold, but to me it is cold. Just like how you guys think 75 degrees is warm and I do not, so there you go. Can we put on your sweater for nighttime? Can we do that? Let's get ready for bed. Can I have your foot? This foot. Thank you. Wait, don't fall over. You're a good boy. Okay, this one. Audi. Give me your paw. You have to bend your you have to bend your leg. Rowdy. Don't burp in my face. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you just gotta kinda of get him on the hinge that I You are being very ankle. difficult. You just gotta okay. kinda of bend it up. There the we ankle. go. There you go. Nope. Buddy. He's like totally stiffened his legs out. He totally dead he straight. And we're gonna there no, we go. No, it's okay. There we go. <laughs> You'll like it, Rowdy. Yeah, it you're cozy. Yes, you're, you're cozy. Can you say good night? Good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mwah.